Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we're gonna test out three different cordless battery operated impact wrenches. So here you can see we are dialed in at 205.1 foot pounds. That was actually pretty impressive. I didn't think it was gonna be able to do it. These are all three eighths inch drives and we'll be featuring the Hercules from Harbor Freight, the DeWalt and the Cobalt. Now when we look at these, they all come in at different price points and they all have different marketing specs for the breakaway torque. We're gonna to specifically look at the breakaway torque and see if they can meet and exceed the numbers that they specify from the manufacturer. When we look at these, the Harbor Freight Hercules has a rated specification of 100 foot-pounds for breakaway torque. Now that also equates to 1200 inch-pounds. So when we look at a tool like this, it's gonna be the least expensive out of all your three options here. This is a 12 volt system. It'll run you roughly $105 when it's not on sale or promotions, something like this can also be picked up for $85 to $90 when they are on sale. Something like this features a variable speed trigger, it has a light functionality on there, and it's a rather light tool. It really is coming close to the DeWalt here, except for the DeWalt has the smallest profile and the smallest footprint as well as how short it is. This features the Tri-Light, which I really do like on this, and will run you around $150 as a kit. You get two batteries, the tool, and a charger. This features a high and low, as well as the selector switch for reverse and forward. It does have a variable speed trigger, and I really do like the tri-light on there. Now, you're not able to turn the light off, but at the end of the day, I think that really doesn't impact the tool a whole lot, and I very rarely hear people say, that light being on really affects the way that I work. Now, the next tool, if we look at it, is the Cobalt from Lowe's. This features a stated 150 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. It's the biggest out of all the tools here, as well as if you can't purchase this on sale, it would be the most expensive. It's roughly around $90 to $100 for the tool, and then you would have to purchase a battery separately at around $30, and then about $45 for a charger. If you can pick this up on sale, you might be able to get the tool free with the battery purchase, meaning you could get two batteries and a charger for around $130 and you'd get the tool for free. That might make this the most attractive when it comes to looking at the price point as well as the value that this tool may add. So again, we're gonna look at the breakaway torque specifications, 100 foot-pounds, 150 foot-pounds, and 200 foot-pounds and see how close each one of these tools can get to it if it can exceed it, and we're gonna head out and test these in a real world scenario to see how easily and efficiently these can remove lug nuts on your car at 100 foot pounds. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna start things off by dialing in 100 foot pounds so this is our real world testing here. That first one comes in at 102. We got 101.1. and 100.3. So we're dialed in roughly at around 100 foot-pounds. We'll go ahead and we'll start with the DeWalt. You can see we have this on high, as well as the battery indicator there is three bars. So you can see the DeWalt had really no problems taking off that fastener. Now we'll go ahead and switch over to the Cobalt. Now the Cobalt has four battery bars on there and we'll go ahead and remove that fastener, hopefully. So with ease, the Cobalt takes off that lug nut. And then we have the Hercules from Harbor Freight. We have three battery bars on there. And the Hercules was able to remove that. So all three impact drivers were able to remove a hundred foot pounds. Let's head on inside. We'll use our rundown fixture where we have a controlled environment and can see how much torque these things can take off and put out. So here we have a 9 16th wheel stud and we're gonna go ahead and tighten this fastener down to 150 foot pounds. 
Now, if you wonder why we're starting off there, we did a video on the Hercules separately. So if you go ahead and click up above here in the cards or down below in the description, you can check out that video. So we're gonna again, tighten this down to 150 foot pounds and we're dialed in at 154.8. We'll go ahead and see if the DeWalt, again, it's on high and we have three battery bars. I really wish that those would stay and hold on the 12 volt system, but we'll see how this performs. So it looks like the DeWalt was able to take that fastener off at 150 foot pounds. It took a little bit, but it was able to do it. So up next we have the Cobalt. You can see that we have four battery bars and we're on speed three. Now we'll dial this into 150 foot pounds. You can see we're dialed in at 151.1 foot pounds and we'll see how the Cobalt performs. So with relative ease, you can see that the Cobalt easily took off 150 foot pounds without any issues. So here we have the Hercules from Harbor Freight. It has three battery bars on there and only a variable speed trigger, no high or low. We're gonna go ahead and torque down this fastener to 150 foot pounds, and then we'll see how it performs compared to the other impact drivers. You can see we're dialed in at 151.6 foot-pounds. We'll see how the Harbor Freight Hercules performs. And you can see it was able to remove that fastener at 151 foot-pounds. So we started at 100 foot-pounds. We bumped up to 150 foot-pounds. We're just gonna go all the way to 200 foot-pounds. So we got our torque wrench dialed in at 200 foot-pounds and DeWalt claims that this will take off 200 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. Cobalt only states 150, and the Hercules states 100. So we're gonna see if DeWalt can stand up to its marketing term of 200 foot-pounds. So here you can see we are dialed in at 205.1 foot-pounds, and we'll go ahead and try to take this off with the DeWalt. We'll see how it performs. So you can see after a lot of sitting and waiting, we were able to remove that fastener with the DeWalt at 200 foot-pounds of torque. That was actually pretty impressive. I didn't think it was gonna be able to do it. All right, so up next we have the Cobalt. They only claim to be able to take off 150 foot-pounds. We got our torque wrench again dialed in at 200 foot-pounds. You can see we're dialed in at 201 foot-pounds. Let's see how the Cobalt will perform. Wow, so the Cobalt was able to take that off really, really fast. And that's actually a really pretty good performing impact driver. So the Harbor Freight Hercules only claims to do 100 foot-pounds of breakaway torque, but we're gonna go ahead and see how it performs at 200 foot-pounds. It probably doesn't even have a chance, but we're gonna go ahead and find out and see how it performs. So we're dialed in at 202.5 foot-pounds. We'll see how the Hercules performs. Wow. So if we let the Hercules sit there just like the DeWalt, 200 foot-pounds, we were able to remove that fastener, which is a 22 millimeter, and that's roughly a 9 16th wheel stud all of these were able to meet that 200 foot pounds. So what are my final thoughts on the tools here? Well, I think the cheapest option for you would be the Hercules. I think the DeWalt, I really like the profile on this as well as that tri-light. I wish all tools had that, but also the ability to turn that light functionality on and off. That's why I really like the Bosch Freak as that tool allows me to turn the lights on and off and it makes me feel like I'm not wasting the batteries when I don't need that. I think the Cobalt provides a tremendous value when you pick this up with a battery bundle, and I think this tool is very, very underrated when it comes to using it in applications that would be considered high torque. 
because of the bigger size, it's definitely going to have an edge over the smaller tools. So if you are worried about efficiency when it comes to working overhead and the weight of your tool, you're definitely going to want to look at the 12 volt options here. I think you really have to look at your application specifically and see which tool is going to be the best for you. Just because it's the cheapest doesn't mean it's the best. Just because it has the highest torque ratings doesn't mean that it's going to be the best for you as well. Really look and see what application you're using and see if one of these tools might fit in your tool lineup. It's really buying into the battery system and also reassuring the tools that you already have perform or meet the expectations that you have. So I really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. Go ahead and comment down below your experience with any of these tools or some of the power tools that you use every day or just at home as a DIY project user. Again, really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.